right. I'm going to give you all a chance to get on. And then I'm going to figure out <laughs> what I'm going to do with this iPhone 10 because it's smaller and it doesn't fit in the pocket that I used to have holding my other phone. I love the pictures though. Oh my gosh, I hope y'all got a chance to see the pictures that I did yesterday. I had had my makeup on since 11 o'clock that morning and I took those pictures, I don't know, around 7 or so. And my makeup was still on. I was still feeling comfortable with it. Comfortable enough to take no filter pictures, so that was good. And right now, I'm just going to moisturize my skin with some Calm Balm. And the reason I'm using Calm Balm now instead of my ordinary skin therapist is because my lupus is super active right now. And my numbers are elevated, which means my face is very red and swollen. Actually, my whole body is swollen. So... You might see, yesterday I did contour, or day before yesterday and yesterday, I did contouring videos specific to make my, to show y'all how to make your faces look thinner than they actually are, but I primarily am doing the contouring stuff because my face, I lost so much weight, so now you can see my cheekbones, those aren't shadows, those are my actual cheekbones. Um, but because my face is swollen, I like to, I like to go ahead and just make it appear that it's even smaller. All of this swollen moon face thing that is called Cushing's disease. It happens when you're under stress and your hormones are out of whack and you have lupus and it's just an inflammatory disease. And it really sucks. Because I work so hard to lose all this weight. And then one stressful thing, like losing a parent, um, will definitely make it come right back. So, um, in the meantime, while I'm working on getting something to put y'all higher for better light, you'll just have to look at me like this. All right, so my I'm moisturized, my hands are moisturized, the stuff smells so good. I couldn't be more happy with the skin products from Limelight, I promise. And I want y'all to talk today. Y'all can talk. I want you to ask questions because I do pretty much the same thing every day. I did go to Walmart looking like this with these big black eyes. I can't see. All right. I have something holding my phone up. Um, I need to get another pop-up and something to hold this iPhone 10 because it's a lot more narrow than my Red 7 Plus was. And this just slid into the little holder thing that holds my phone. Right now I have my business cards in front of the 10 holding it up. So hopefully y'all can see me. The light's on, the light's good, and I... If you have questions about getting the 10, all I can say is if you've ever been scared of taking selfies, this camera and the lighting features that you have, oh Lord, you don't have to pay people to do your pictures. Uh, that's all I can say about that. The This camera, I compared it to a Canon camera. My, my Both of my kids are into photography. And Draven right now is doing the yearbook and he's in broadcasting and all that stuff um, in seventh grade. And the my phone, he was playing with it and it took better pictures than his Canon. The edit features are amazing. So I'm not really going to talk about what I'm doing today. I'm just going to do it just to be live and answer some questions. So if you've been watching the videos and you have any questions, now is the time to answer or ask them and I will answer. I'm just going along my day. I just got back from running errands, been running errands since about seven o'clock this morning and I'm tired. What are y'all doing today? 
Hey, Jennifer. And if y'all haven't checked out the gift sets, whew, I'm waiting for the ones that I ordered to come in because I've been watching all the all of my up leads or upline, sorry. Um all the people that are above me. They've been doing videos with theirs and I can't wait to get my hands on that metallic palette. Oh Jesus. And you can always use um the eyeshadows, as I've shown plenty of times before, and as I'll do again today, our eyeshadows, um, we convert and do all kinds of stuff. My lip liner, I made a video where I turned the lip liner into eyeshadow, blush, and lipstick all by itself. Right now, I'm just putting concealer on my eyes, not only just to fill in all the black that I have from not sleeping, and the sleeping's getting better. Um, but also, our eyeliner has primer in it. And so, whenever I go to put my eyeshadow on, it won't crease. And if y'all, y'all, I encourage you to ask questions. But you don't learn if you don't ask any questions. And I also still have a big tote full of samples so and their skincare samples we don't have makeup samples yet I know that that is something that uh, a lot of people limelight is very aware that y'all are asking for skincare samples but right now we do not have them I mean um makeup samples right now we do not have them but I do have skincare samples so I can send you a catalog and you can get your samples. The people who've already received their samples have messaged me or called and texted and said they absolutely love the products. And the thing about Limelight's products is not only that they're environmentally friendly and biodegradable packaging, they're chemical free, you know, they don't have any uh, parabens in them, they don't use them or test them on animals but because they're made from all natural stuff they smell flipping amazing just like this uh calm balm i put on my face so that my cheeks would go down some so you don't have this big bubble here that i normally have um it's an anti-inflammatory lotion and it kind of calms all that down which is why it's called calm balm and I love putting the Calm Balm on my face. I have combination skin, so I usually just kind of mix it up. And since that bubble wants to be agitated today, Calm Balm was the way to go. And the makeup that I'm doing right now is the real quick makeup just for me to get out of the house. Even though I went to Walmart looking like a scarecrow. <laughs> um, I like to be able to just put on my makeup and go. But because people... I gotta look down. Sorry, y'all. I'm all up in your face. Um, if you're just joining me, the reason I can't see the ones that are joining all the way down is because I got the iPhone 10 yesterday. And I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed is probably an understatement. Um, I, I can't even say enough things about it. It is so crazy. It even recognizes my face at night. And I don't have to use my night reader or anything like that. It already turns on the light. It automatically adjusts the lighting. It's crazy. I just need to find a stand to go to clip onto my mirror that will hold this phone because it's a lot narrow than I I've had the 6s plus and this was the 7s plus and they were larger so now I'm back to a smaller phone it's the same weight this is the, if you're looking into the iPhone 10 it's stainless steel around the edges the camera like I said it's better than Nikon it's better than Canon it is on point with your pictures 
You can change the lighting to studio. Um, there's a black and white studio. And then there's... What's the one that I really, really liked? Of course, I played with this thing until the wee hours of the morning. So I always forget. Um, but there's a whole bunch of different settings. That's all. I'm going to leave it at that. So I'm coming in so y'all can see... All this foundation that you see this creasing in, it's going to stay right there and it's setting my eyes. That's what's going on here. And whenever I go to put the eyeshadow on, eyeshadow number one will go right here underneath that line. Eyeshadow number two will go right over that line, right in the middle. And eyeshadow number three, four, five, six, seven, however many I want to do, will just completely go up over those. So, that is that. And I'm using the fluffy brush today because I just need light translucent coverage. And I don't plan to go anywhere else today, but with my kids, there's no telling. And if I'm giving Christmas presents out this, this year, which of course I am, you're more than likely going to get limelight for Christmas that's all I have to say because a lot of my family um some have ordered it and they love it and some are just waiting for everyone else to see if they like it and I'm like okay I'm just gonna go buy you the stuff that I think you need and we'll leave it at that and if they don't like it which I don't see happening then the company has a hundred percent uh, money back guarantee even if you use the whole bottle all right now i'm just this is equivalent of baking my face and this is our um fresh our press um uh, perfect press powder and it just gives me a matte finish and it stops me from being able once you put this powder on it's setting or baking however you want to call it and I won't be able to move the foundation around anymore. I mean, I can wet my brush again and move it if I want to, but I don't really want to. But if you have not tried our botanical uh, foundations, I just have no words. I, um... I came from using Lancome MAC Estee Lauder. Actually, I like to show this. My Lancome bag is still here in the office where I do all these videos. And it's just sitting there really empty with all the products that I can't use anymore. Because um, the problem with me was using some of these products with all of these harsh chemicals. It would always break my face out or make it super swollen, more swollen than normal. I didn't like that. So, when my friend approached me about Limelight, I was like, oh God, not more makeup. But I'm obsessed. Very obsessed. And so, when I do my eyebrows, I take my small little brush here, put it in my face, it's the whitest thing here. And I just spray it with our setting spray. And we're ready to go. And whenever you're using these products, again, use very, very little. And always start in the middle because see how that came off real, real dark? I can blend that and pull it across. Fifty percent pigment pigmented professional makeup. It takes some getting used to, but once you lighten your hand and realize that you don't have to use a lot, it's amazing. And since that came out so, so dark, I just rub the white part over it and I'm good. Everything's good until you, once you set it, it gets really hard to move because you've set it. Yay, Walmart, thank you. Let me know that my prescriptions are ready. I literally just got back from grocery shopping. Story of my life. 
with these medications. Every time I go to Walgreens or go to Walmart, I come home. Yes, Walmart, second prescription ready. I come home, I come and talk to you all, or I get on my podcast, and then they tell me, your prescriptions are ready. And I'm just like, really? Luckily, where I live, Walmart is literally on the next block. It's one of those little green neighborhood ones. And it's super close. So I like that. And can y'all hear me? Because the screen is down, I want to make sure that y'all can hear me. Just throw a a like or an emoji out there just so I can make sure that y'all hear me. Anybody. All right. And my husband answers me, yes. Are you watching this video? Oh, he's at work. I forgot I texted him earlier. So again, um, keeping this on the bottom part of my eyelid, very close to my eyelashes. And I started in the middle. And there's literally, you can barely see the color on here because it is so pigmented, you only need a little bit. Um, if I see that there's some new people joining me today and I wanna show you something. This is the first palette that I put together and I've been doing this for almost seven months. Um, next Saturday will be seven months and I still have my original foundation, my original concealers. Because my face has a lot of red rosacea, I use this one a lot more on my cheeks because it's got a green hue to it and the green covers up the red really well. And then I use this one around my eyes just to make me look like I'm awake. But I've had that. Saturday will be seven months. And I put my makeup on every day. Even, like I said, I'm not going anywhere else today. I'm doing it for y'all. Uh, I put my makeup on every single day except Sunday. So we're talking makeup being put on five days a week. And I do full makeup. Even on the video I did with the no makeup makeup look. It took just as long to do that um, than it did, you know, as it did with all the other videos. So, I like to play around with the colors. And this one's going to go right on top of this one in this crease. Again, we're going to start in the middle. Go left, then right. And when you're doing your eyeshadows, guys, if you feel like, oh my god, this is too blotchy or this doesn't have enough. You're going to blend it at the end. So it doesn't matter. Especially if you're doing a smoky eye. Sometimes the black will just kind of skip over our eyelids. Especially um, as we get older. And for that you can get some Sotox. That's our version of Botox. It's liquid Botox. And that's how my eyelids are tightening up. They used to be a lot worse than this. Because when I was a kid, I liked the wing tip. And I was always doing this, stretching my eyelid out. And that's bad. That and the fact that I'm almost 40. So being able to work with my eyes without having to pull them can be tricky. But I put Sotox on every single day. Every day. And everything is starting to tighten up which I love. All right, so I'm gonna go into the top part of my eyelid, right on my brow line, and I'm gonna put a very, very light color. Start from the middle and work my way left and right. And just kind of pull, it's 50% pigmented. That's a lot of color. And so you just pull it. And it'll go right wherever you want it. And I just like that light look on top. 
We'll do the same thing over here. Right on the brow line. All right. And I feel like I want another color here in the creases. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do green just because I feel like it. And I'm going to put it right here and right here. And even though that's a super dark color, we're going to blend it out in a minute and it'll make sense. Today's the first day I've used the green. So what are y'all's plans for Thanksgiving? I am going to cook Thanksgiving dinner for Maddie, who my oldest that's in the Air Force. She can't come home. They come home for Christmas, but not thanksgiving and so none of her friends get to see their parents she's only six hours away from me but for the other kiddos um their family's a lot further away so they don't get to see them that often so i am surprising them with thanksgiving dinner and i couldn't be more excited all right you can take a big fluffy brush your blender i use this more on my face um i use this for my cheeks i use this fluffer for my foundation but for my eyeshadow because this is so flexible you can do whatever you want and you can apply more pressure to get into those little creases that you want but you just blend and i do circles and i usually go inside first and then i come to the corner and i just pull it out The green look came out really pretty. Yes, I like it. And so you'll notice as I put on, whenever I do makeup, no matter what colors I'm using, I try to use colors that will pop my eyes because my eyes are super small but also things that will ouch wrong pin uh things that will go together and just kind of bring out some color very lightly though i like unless i'm going out to you know a party a holiday thing or a family function and i just want people to ask me, oh my god, that looks so pretty, what makeup are you wearing? Um, for the most part, I just keep it simple. And it looks like I just threw some stuff on, and in actuality, it probably took 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be doing my five-minute makeup tutorial with my five favorite products. And you'll see, as long as I don't talk forever, that I can put my makeup on in five minutes using only five different products. So, and one of them obviously has to be the setting spray, so I can do my whole face with just four products. But it's five products in five minutes and does my whole face, so make sure y'all tune in tomorrow for that. And right now, I am just going to put on a little bit of bronzer. I'm just gonna do it on my head so it's nice and shiny. And I'm only going to do a little here. I don't want it super flashy today. And also, this is what I would do like if I was going to um, softball or swim practice or baseball. You know, just so I don't look like I've been lounging around the house all day. And I'm just going to do a, a dash. Oh, wrong brush. 
a dash on my cheeks. Yes, I worked really hard to cover up all that redness, but this color goes really, really good with my skin. And once I cover everything up with concealer and foundation, it just sits on top of my skin and it looks super natural, which I love. And I just drag it all the way up so everything kind of goes together. All right. And next, I'm just going to go under my eyes. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure that my makeup is even with the end of my eyebrows while I'm separating my eye area from the mascara, I mean from the blush and the bronzer. Some makeup artists, you'll see them actually put like a piece of paper or anything right here and they just keep going until they go over it. I've been... I just use my brush and kind of clean up the area. So you see the little bits of green, you see the brown, you see the peach, and the very, very top uh, on my eyebrow line is light. And I'll probably make it a little bit more lighter. Right now I'm good. And right now I'm just gonna blend All right, so it just looks like my grandma pinched my cheeks and life is great. Okay, not contouring my nose or anything today like that. We just want to look like we've done something and look like we are ready for the day. I'm gonna put my mascara on. Again, our mascara is a fiber mascara, but no flakes, no falling, no smudging, no double applications of anything. It just goes on forever, and it stays on for, ooh, it stays on for a very long time. We, and speaking on that, um, I've got asked the question, if the makeup stays on so long, how do you take it off? Well, you can take it off with any kind of very use very natural um wipes because this, these are natural products but limelight has their own wipes that are very inexpensive i haven't found any at any of the drugstores or walmart or ulta or anything like that that are cheaper and they're purposely made to take off their own product And when it takes everything off, it doesn't burn, it doesn't irritate. All right. And I'm not going to do any liner on top today. I'm not doing any liner on the bottom. I just want the mascara to speak for itself. And you can see all the colors are still there. And my cheeks, everything is done. So last but not least... Bum, 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 bum. What am I going to go with today? I'm going to go with salted caramel because that seems to be my favorite. And it's fall. And these things always, always, always take all the excess off because these things are super, super professionally pigmented. Nothing on the market like it. And again, it's angled, so it goes perfectly on your lip. Super creamy. It hydrates 
while it's on your skin and it never, oh, that's better. It never um, dries out. You don't get any, like, that's my lip pulled. You don't get any, like, cracks or anything like that. And so this is my eyeshadow today close up. I just did a very light brown and I used the green to just kind of give it a little pop of color. And then I used a beige in the middle, right on the ba right in the middle of my eyelid. And then I used a lighter color up top. And I didn't do any contouring today. We just put on some light blush and bronzer, especially on my forehead. I love my forehead to shine. And the color that I went for today, or with, is uh, Salted Caramel. It is the number one selling color right now. Um, so if you like fall colors for your lips or your eyes, you can just PM me for anything that I just did. I'll tell you the colors and how to apply them. But that Salted Caramel is selling really fast because it goes with everything. If you're wearing brown, if you're wearing red, if you're wearing orange, the Salted Caramel Enduring Lip Color works really well with everything. And then normally I would put my hair down, but my hair is a hot freaking mess right now. Um, so we're not going to do that. And that's everything. And if you get a chance to check out our holiday guides or you want me to send you a holiday guide and you would like some samples. I have a whole tote of samples. I am not joking. Hold on one second. Look at that sign back there. Y'all, when I say I have samples, let's see, where do we put you? This whole tote is full of samples. Skincare samples, that is. Um, we have been out of them since I started doing this months ago, almost seven months Next Saturday will be seven months that I've been doing this. And we were literally out of samples that whole entire time. And we were out of a lot of things, bronzers, blushes, all this different stuff. And one of the first questions I asked before I joined, I was like, why are they out of so much stuff? And why does it take so long for my, my kit took almost three weeks to get here. <clears throat> and I was like, you know, I don't want to sell something to my customers and it's going to take forever for them to get it. So you get them all hyped up and then by the time they get it, they're over it. And they moved on to something different. Um, now Limelight has um, joined with another big makeup company called uh, Loctane. And actually Loctane reached out to Limelight. And so it's kind of freaky how fast we get our stuff now. So if you order anything, don't think that you have to pay more for the shipping. The shipping is $2.95 no matter how much your order is. And you will get it within just a couple of days. So don't pay more for the extra shipping. You think you're going to get it faster. The way they're popping this stuff out. Even like when salted caramel uh, goes on back order, we'll have it back in like two weeks. But it's to me, it's just easier to have the stuff on hand. And I play with the colors all the time. And I do have all 18 eyeshadows that we offer. I'm waiting on the shimmer ones to come in. Um, the shiny ones, I can't wait to play with them. But I didn't buy all 18 at one time. Uh, we on a budget like most people and I bought like maybe one or two a week and like I said I've been doing this for almost seven months and I just finally put them all in there you can buy the whole 18 kit but if you don't have to and you don't got the money to do it you don't you don't need to be doing all that so that's it. I hope you like the colors for today. And I'm going to run off to the kitchen and go start cooking dinner. So, if you got any questions, send me a message, email me. Um, what else is there? PM, Instagram, Twitter, and you can obviously leave your comments on here on the replay. I love you all. Thank you for watching. This is Teresa DeLeon with Limelight by Alcone.